Okay, it's Wednesday the 11th of January, so still time for physics fun, even if it's not on a Friday. Um, what am I doing? Well, I'm doing something called SUVAT, Projectile Practical Proofs. So hopefully if you're doing edible physics, you'll have come across these sets of equations. So effectively, it looks at how to um, compare for a projectile that runs down a ramp and onto the floor, um, how to compare the displacement in the y direction, displacement in the x direction, using our SUVAT formulas. I'm not going to explain all that now, but what I've got for you is a lovely set of results here that I've already taken. And I'm just going to show you how the practical works. I think what you really should do is have a go yourself. If you don't have a little timer like this little guy that does the velocity, then actually it's a little bit tricky. So you need sort of a, a little timer like that that will measure the velocity of my ball bearing. And I've got a stopwatch. Stopwatch is to give you a timestamp on the video and you can compare. And then if you listen out, you should be able to hear the ball fall onto the metal sheet. I've got a lovely little ramp here. So there's my ramp ready set up. Technically the height doesn't make any difference, but I know if I drop from this particular point here and it rolls down, it should fall onto my little cross down there. So you should be able to hear it with the sound. So I'm gonna go from my, my set point and I'm going to try and get everything in. Let's try and get the velocity, the time, and watch for it when it happens. So here we go. And action. So here, look. 1.62. So that's the, that's the same, pretty much, as my velocity here. And what we need is a timestamp, don't we? I need to retrieve my ball bearing. There we go. Let's get the ball bearing. So let's have another crack at it then. So I'm going to reset that one. Now this time I'm going to start the timer. What you're going to have to do is recognise there's a time when it starts and a time when it finishes. Clearly that's not zero, is it? So here we go. So I'm going to start off my stopwatch. There we go. And my velocity is ready. So here we go. Let's get it so we can actually see. The important one now is the stopwatch and where it finishes off. And you should be able to hear for that. So here we go. And oh, action. And there we go. So it's a real simple idea, this. If you can't manage to take the readings from the time here, which is rather tricky, you can see again my velocity is pretty much similar. Like I said, I did take a lovely set of readings. If you compare the two formulas, both of them are pretty much true, and we have then proved SUVAT projectile motion. And uh, there you go. Little video for animated science, bit of physics in the week.